Bedbugs are developing resistance against many poisons. Cryonite will always be effective. Hotel rooms can be used immediately after treatment, which means that the hotels can maximize their occupancy rates. All nymphal stages require blood for nutrition. They respond to the body warmth of a host and their mouth parts are especially adapted for piercing skin and sucking blood. Being nocturnal, this often happens at night. Then, during the day, they seek shelter in narrow, dark places to digest the blood. Cryonite has shown to be very effective against bedbugs. Bedbugs tend to shelter in dark locations and want to be as close as possible to their hosts, the inhabitants of the bed. That's why it's important to carry out a thorough inspection before treatment. Concentrate on cracks and crevices in bed frames, the bases of the beds, mattresses, especially the beading and seams, headboards, wall floor junctions, soft furnishings in the room and cupboards. On the bottom of the bed frame you will often find bed bugs hiding between the hessian backing and the bed. Always treat all the way around. Extend the lens and flex the nozzle to get a better angle. It's very important to get behind the headboard. This one can't be removed, but as you can see cryonite penetrates well through the narrow crack between the headboard and the wall. Any bedbugs harboring in this area will be killed. Bedbugs can easily be treated in the area between carpet and wall. Cryonite can be used behind flaking wallpaper without damaging the wall or wallpaper. There is a risk of transporting bedbugs too, as in this example a share. This share is easy to treat thanks to the hole in the hessian backing underneath. This gives a very good coverage. Pests are often found along the joint between wall and floor. The extendable gun makes it easy to work in any position. This sanitation is performed in a machinery that is sanitary sensitive as food is in direct contact with the surfaces. The non-poisonous carbon dioxide is replaceable here. To achieve the best results, don't build thick layers. Two thin layers are much more efficient than one thick. If the snow is built up in thick layers, the cooling effect is reduced because of the gas layer between the snow and its target. Thin layers of snow, this is the right way to do it. If you want to get more information, please visit our website at www.cryonite.com.